Hey friends, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger, and welcome back to my channel. Sitting in front of a huge rack of clothing, I actually have another huge rack of clothing next to me because I went sourcing, and I have an epic haul for you guys. I found over 100 items. Keep in mind, this is from, I think, six different thrift stores that I went to over the course of two days, so I prefer to shop one to two days a week if I can find enough stuff to last me, so I like to go sourcing all day for a day or two, find my items, photograph them all in one day, and then get them listed over the course of the next few days. That way I am not stressed out and thinking I need to go thrifting every single day. As fun as it is, you know, it's a lot of work. So I want to go ahead and get into this huge haul and not take up too much of your time with me sitting here talking. Grab some tea, grab some popcorn. This may take a while, but let's go ahead and do the haul. So starting off with the tops first, the first one is this gray athletic style tank and it's got a light pink built-in bra. It's kind of open on the sides and the brand is Kalia, which is by Carrie Underwood. So it looks like this little infinity symbol. I'll probably list this at $30. This brand does well on Poshmark. And then the next item I found has adjustable straps. It's color block in the brand. It doesn't have a label on the inside, but it's this little metal bar. It's called VPL. And they're known for this type of style. So when I saw it, I knew what it was, even though there's no label. They retail for a lot. I'll probably list this at $45 to $50. The next item, I loved the color combination as well as these little tassels that were hanging. And I was surprised when I looked at the brand. It is Loft, which I'm pretty picky with the Loft I pick up. I don't pick it up very often, but I just love this style. So I'm going to list that at $30. This top has a great floral botanical print and it's super soft. It's kind of an oversized fit and the brand is Vanessa Virginia from Anthropology. I'll probably list this at $32, $35. This top I really liked. When I saw it, I thought Free People because it's got this kind of plaid print with studs and then also a great embroidery detail on the front. And the brand is actually Fossil which I haven't found their clothing very often. So it's a fossil size large. And what's cool is you can unbutton these um, straps in the back and you could either cross them or wear it as a halter top. So that was unique. I'll probably list this at $30. And then the next top, I actually found two at two different stores. So it's the exact same top, two different sizes. One's an extra small, one's a medium. And it is cabby and it's the new label cabby. So this squares the newer label, which I pretty much always pick up. Really like the floral print, probably listed at $35. I'm going to look up the style and see what it goes for. This top is a graphic tank top. It says sex, drugs, rock, and troll with a little crazy troll with its hair on fire, which I thought was funny. This brand I've only found once before. It's Unif, which is an, a good brand. It's a size small. It's very distressed looking on purpose. It's that muscle tank. I think I saw one sell recently on Posh for $40, so I'll probably start it at like $45 or $50. This top has a flag on it, and it is by... All Saints. So it's a distressed graphic tank, All Saints size 2 US. I'll probably list this at $35. This top is a cropped graphic tank top. It is burnout material. So it's that super soft burnout. It's got an eagle made in the USA on the front. And the back has this great cutout detail. And the brand is Chaser. So Chaser is a great graphic tee line. This is a size extra small. I'll probably list this one at $35. And then I did find another one, which actually is the exact same graphic. So it is another Chaser size large, but this one is cut out on the side. So it's got this great cutout detail and it's a longer length. I'll probably list that also at $35. And the closest I'll probably ever come to Coachella is this Coachella tank top. And it is from Coachella 2000. 2016 so it's got the lineup on the back that's really cool I don't know how much this goes for if people collect these but I do like to pick up concert festival stuff so I'll probably list it at 35 unless it's a more rare style and another graphic tank this one says moon child on the front and the brand is doe size medium I'll probably list this at 30 to 35 dollars it's in excellent condition it's got those deep armholes that look good with a bralette some graphic band tees or tanks my favorite guns and roses sweet child of mine and this one's bravado again a line that makes a lot of band tees it's an extra small poly list this at $30 and then this one is a Johnny Cash um, tank top man in black and this one I believe is also an extra small the brand is Zion so I'll probably list that at $30 as well 
This next blouse has a great ruffle collar as well as some gold button details. It's Elizabeth McKay, New York, who's a designer. And she is kind of known for having this preppy um, collared style. So it's just a silk blush blouse. I've sold a dress like it before. I'll probably list this at $40 to $45. Another blouse, and this one is white with some great cutout detail. It's almost like an eyelet pattern at the bottom, but it's pretty sheer, so you would have to layer it. And it's by Maeve from Anthropology, Size 4. I'll probably list this at $35. It's a great summertime top. When I saw this top, the graphic caught my eye, and it is a Lucky Brand tank. It's a size extra large. It's got these wings on the side that actually tie in the back, so it gives it a little bit of shape. I'll probably list that at $30. And another new label, Cabbie, size large. This is a really flowy floral print top, and it's got the ruffle peplum hem as well as a racer back. I'll probably list that at $35. This top, the print is really pretty. It's almost like a plaid background with a watercolor floral print, and the brand is Joie, and it is a silk top. It's an extra small. It's in great condition. I'll probably list that at $50. This top is a bohemian tank style, and the brand is 1 September from Anthropology. So it's 1 September. It is a size small, and I really like how the neckline is kind of cut in, and then it's a flowy tank. So I'll probably list this one at $35. The last tank is actually a tunic tank. It's super long, almost dress length, but I'm pretty sure it's a tunic, and it is also by 1 September from Anthropology, Size large, just a great paisley print, and then the back is solid. And I'll probably list that one at $35 to $40, um, just because it is such a nice style. Okay, on to the rest of this rack, which you can see is mostly graphic tees, my favorite. Um, we have a We The Free, which is by Free People, size small. It's almost like a bear or a wolf. I'm not sure what that graphic is, but it's short sleeve and it's super long. High, low hem, great with some skinnies or leggings. I'll probably list that at 35. Found a Prince tee, um, Prince, and it's got a bunch of great stuff on it. It's super soft. It says size large, but I think it's either a kids or a women's because it did measure a little small. I'll probably list that one at 35. This one, I've never found this brand before. It's called Mate. It's actually Mate the label, but the tag just says Mate. It's a small slash medium. This graphic tee line um, retails for a lot, and it just says Wicked and Wanted, and it's just a loose, oversized fit. I'll probably list this, I think, at $50. I'm going to look and see how much this particular style goes for, but this brand is a good graphic tee brand. And then a Justin Timberlake tour t-shirt. It's got the tour dates on the back. I love picking up my concert tees. I'll probably list this one at $30. The Avett Brothers. This is just a band tee. It doesn't have like a tour um, concert anything on the back. Alternative apparel, which is a good line. It's a size large. I'll probably list this one at 35. And I found a Def Leppard short sleeve tour t-shirt. So it's got the tour dates on the back. I'll list that one at $35. Victoria's Secret Pink. I do like to sell their tees that have like the college theme to them. This one's actually Las Vegas theme. It says roll with it. Um, Las Vegas pink. I don't know if they bought it in Vegas or it's just Vegas theme, but anyways, I'm going to try that one out. I'll probably list it at $30. Zeppelin tee. Um, this one, I believe, is a replica. It doesn't have the tour dates on the back. It is so soft. This one, yeah, it is a replica. It is um, bravado, size small, $35. Next up is a Kid Rock tour t-shirt. This one is a size, I think it's a size medium. Yes, size medium. It's got the dates on the back. I'll probably list that at 35. And then on to one of my favorite brands. I showed this in one of my recent hauls, Daydreamer. It's a great graphic tee line. And this one says Yosemite on the front and it's super distressed. It's got all these holes all over it and it's in excellent condition. I'll probably list this one at um, $35. This next top, it's by Mage, which is a higher end line, and I'm surprised they make graphic tees. I didn't know they did. It just says forever and ever rock. It's a longer length, really lightweight tee. Probably $35 on that one. This one, I think the saying is so cute. Happy glamper for those who love glamping in their tents. And it's by Show Me Your Moo Moo, Moo Moo Mellow, size small. Probably list this one at $45. Found a Billy Joel graphic tee. I really like the graphic on that with him on his motorcycle. I think it is. It's super cool. And that one's a size medium. I think the back's plain. Yeah, probably 35 on that one. This is like a short sleeve pullover sweatshirt with patchwork detail. And it is by Postmark, which is from Anthropology. I'll probably list this at $35. The back's just plain. 
found an Aerosmith ringer. So it's got the ringer around the sleeves and the neck, and it's also a burnout t-shirt. Um, rock in a hard place. It is a size large. I'll probably list that at $30 to $35. I really like that one a lot. Chaser, a short sleeve chaser brand shirt v-neck. It's got the cow skull floral graphic, probably $35 on that one. Okay, this next one is so soft. This might be the softest t-shirt that I found. It says, See the Unknown. It's got almost like a yin-yang kind of um, zodiac thing on it. And it is by Life Clothing Company. So Life Clothing Company, it's an online store. They put a lot of stuff on Instagram. But anyways, I'll probably list that at $30. This next one, California um, Varsity kind of striped t-shirt. And it is by... Lucky brand, size extra small. This thing is really soft and thin, and I love the mustard yellow color. Probably 30 on that one. Okay, the Who, which is a fun band tee. It's got cutouts, it's distressed, and it's super cropped. So it's kind of cut off on purpose, and it is by Junk Food, and the back actually has, like, tour dates on it. And I'll probably list this one at 40. I haven't ever seen one like this before, so I'm going to list that one a little higher. The next one is a Free People, We the Free Raglan style graphic tank or tunic, and it's super long. It's just got this Norfolk, let's see, Virginia kind of theme to it. And then what I like about this one is the back is split at the bottom. I'll probably list that one at $30, $38 maybe on that because it is a nicer, longer style. This next top is J. Crew, which I'm pretty picky with the J. Crew tees I pick up. This one's linen, which I like. It says C'est La Vie in a floral print, which I thought was cute. I'll probably list that at 30. On to some more new label cabby. I was on a roll. So this is a cabby large blouse, and it's a multicolor leopard print v-neck, probably 35 on that one. And then another cabby new label. This one is just your regular animal print Kind of a cropped short sleeve t-shirt. It's a little bit shorter. I've sold this one before. I think um, for 35 or 40, it was a more rare style. I was so excited when I found this one. This is one of my favorite brands to find and sell. And it is Johnny Was Los Angeles. And it's a size large, I believe. Yes, a size large, super embroidered t-shirt. So it's got all this great floral and butterfly embroidery. And then it does have it on the back with an owl as well. I just thought that was so cool. I'll probably list this at $50. This one's Triumph by Lucky Brand. It's a men's t-shirt. Triumph is a motorcycle company. So they do collaboration with Lucky Brand. It's got this little helmet on the side. The back is plain. These sell super fast, this particular collaboration with Lucky, so I'll probably list this at $25. And then this is also a men's t-shirt, which I just thought looked really cool. I had never heard of this brand, Bleach, and it says Givenchy on the front. It's kind of like a take on the... Um, Guns N' Roses um, logo, but it had a dry cleaning tag on it. It looked really nice. The back says, here today, gone to hell. Um, but they do collaborations, apparently, with designers. So I'm going to look up how much to list this one for, but I'm thinking around $50, and I just think that's so cool and so unique. I couldn't leave it behind. So now we're on to the second rack, which is mostly long sleeve tops, dresses, shorts, pants, jeans, etc. So this top is by Loft, which again, I don't pick up that often, but I just really liked this style. It's a plaid short sleeve blouse with these great ruffle sleeves. It has the ruffle peplum hem, and it's a size medium. I'm going to list this probably at $30. And then this is a We the Free Free People. It's a striped thermal top. It's long sleeves, and then it has the peplum ruffle hem again, which is very popular. I'll probably list that at $30 to $35. This top is by Splendid, which doesn't have the best resale value, but they do make great quality stuff. I really like the camo print and this mint green color. It's a three-quarter sleeve thermal Henley top, so the Henley button placket. I'll probably list this at $30. Like I mentioned earlier, the Victoria's Secret Pink college stuff. So this is an Alabama, Bama, University of Alabama, um, cropped long sleeve graphic t-shirt. So it's got the um, roll tied on the sleeve and it's long sleeves. The back's just plain kind of splatter painted. I'll probably list this at 35 or 40. It might be a more rare style. I think it's really nice. Actually, another new label cab and it's a floral print sheer blouse. It's got three quarter sleeves. Cabby, if you're unfamiliar with it, they do actually put the style number on the tag. So this is the inside care label and they do put the style number right in there. You can just Google cabbie and the style number and it will tell you the actual name of the blouse. Probably list that one at 35 or 40. 
The next one, this beautiful, bright, paisley, colorful printed top is Show Me Your Moo Moo, size medium, and it's actually new with tags. I think I find a lot of Moo Moo because I'm in the south. It's really popular here, and it ties in the front. I think it's meant to be a top. I don't think it's meant to be layered, but I'm not 100% sure, and it's got these great sleeves with elastic cuffs. I'm going to see how much this retails for, but I'll probably price it at 75% of retail. So if it retailed for $100, i will list it at $75. We'll see what it retails for. And then this top is a classic Lily Pulitzer piece. It's the Elsa blouse and it's size extra small. It's silk, 100% silk. And um, I think these usually sell for me for around $50. The next top is this great polka dot print and it's got these huge poet sleeves, gathered cuffs, and it has the gathering around the neckline. It is designer. It's 3.1 Philip Lim. This is a size 10. I have no idea how much this retailed for, probably a few hundred dollars. I'm probably going to list this at um, $75. I really like it. It's in great condition. I believe it's silk. And then this is an acid wash cowl neck top. It's super soft. This can be worn as a cowl neck or I believe kind of off the shoulder. And the brand is We The Free by Free People Size Medium. I'll probably list that at $35 to $40. Another We The Free Free People graphic, almost like a long sleeve knit mix. It's got this great polka dot knit mixed in with the regular graphic tee part and I've sold this one before I'll probably list this one at $40 another free people top this one is an extra small that's an older label but it still does well it's a great blue color it's got this crochet detailing at the shoulders it's high low at the bottom and then the back actually has this cutout detail I'll probably list that at 40 this next top when I saw it I thought it was Johnny was because of this great colorful embroidery but it's actually soft surroundings it's a size small and it's a tunic. I think it's a cover up actually. It's pretty lightweight, but the embroidery is all over and I'm going to list this one probably at $45, maybe a little higher just because it's so unique. Speaking of Johnny Was, this is an ivory cream color patchwork top that is by Johnny Was. So it's actually For Love and Liberty, which is a Johnny Was line and um, it's brand new with tags and it's this is the For Love and Liberty um, tag. I'll probably list this one around $75 to $85. It's a tunic top. It's cream, a great color. The back's just plain, so we'll see how that does. And then this top is by Akimi and Ken from Anthropology. They make really cute stuff. It's a paisley print tunic top. It's got all this different detailing at the bottom. And I'm probably going to list this one at $35 to $40. Chambray, always a pickup for me, especially cloth and stone. I've mentioned that before. I love that brand. Sometimes sold at Anthropology, but a bunch of other places. They just make great quality and it's just a popover chambray top, but this one doesn't have the collar and I'm going to list this one at $35. This top is a Madewell button down chambray. It's a extra small, super light wash. It's in perfect condition. I think it was just dry clean. I'm going to list this one higher, probably like $40 to $45. And then this brand I like a lot as well. It's kind of similar to Cloth and Stone. It's Bella Doll. And they make similar styles to Cloth and Stone, I should say. It's just this plaid three quarter sleeve, high low hem, popover top. So it's just popover buttons halfway. I'll list that one probably at $35 to $40. This is an older Free People tag, and this is a size 6. I've sold this exact same thing before. It's actually like a blazer top kind of thing. So it's plaid and it's ruffles down the front, but it just has this little button hook closure. So you would layer it over like a tank or something. And then it has the button cuffs. And I'm probably going to list this at $45. It's a pretty unique piece, and it's pleated in the back. J. Crew Can't go wrong with a great J. Crew plaid flannel, size 6. I really like how the buttons on this one are like a brown color and it's just a blue and ivory button down flannel probably 35 to 40. This top is a great diamond kind of geometric print. It's super oversized. It is free people and this is actually a size small so that's how oversized it is but it looks really comfy and casual. Probably list that at $35. This next top, you can see the swoosh logo. It is Nike Pro, which I've talked about before. I like selling the Nike Pro long sleeve tops, and I thought this was really pretty with the neon orange and purple color combo. Probably 30 on that one. This is a sweatshirt type of top, but it's got some lace detailing at the bottom, on the back, 
and the brand it doesn't have a name on the actual label but this label is paper locket from anthropology so it looks like a little flag but that brand's paper locket it's a size small probably list this at 35 dollars next piece i was excited to find i've only found this brand twice before it's barefoot dreams and this stuff is seriously the softest material you will ever feel i've found the robes before this is just a pullover like sweater sweatshirt very casual lounge piece it's got ribbed cuffs and i don't know how much this retails for but these resell really well i'll probably list it at 45 dollars next up we have a north face women's size small sweater pullover top thing and it's got these horn toggle buttons which i thought was a really nice detail it's a great heather blue color i'll probably list this one at like 35 to 40 i don't know how much they retail for it might actually be a little more than that it's got the little patch down there and i'm gonna go ahead and list sweaters and stuff now so i list stuff year round and this is a zip up hoodie it's got the asian inspired floral print graphics and it is a vintage lucky brand so this is a lucky brand extra large hoodie and it's got the graphics on the sleeves as well the lucky brand sweatpants and sweatshirts do really well they have like a cult following so i'm probably going to list this around 45 dollars the next thing is this great texture jacket and it's almost like that teddy bear kind of nubby texture. It's a swing coat. It only buttons at the top and then it swings open at the bottom. It's got a satin tie and it is by Elevensies from Anthropology. It's a size two and you can see it has a hood. So I'm probably going to list this at $50. It's in excellent condition. Really cool piece. Next jacket is a floral kimono style jacket. So it's got the big kimono sleeves. It zips up the front and it's by Free People. It's a size extra small, small. I've sold this one before and they go for a lot. It's a more rare jacket. I'm probably going to list it at um, $60. Cabbie came in twos. Like I had that tank top earlier. Um, two of them. I actually found this exact same jacket twice at the same store. So it's just a knit. It looks like tweed, but it's just a regular stretchy like ponty material blazer. It's got these pockets on the front. Um, and then look, it's the exact same thing, the exact same size. I'm going to list those probably at $50. This army green vest, it's kind of puffer style, but it's super soft with this large collar. It's by Splendid. And I'm probably going to list this around $50 to $60. It's in excellent condition, pretty much brand new. This is a cloth and stone chambray romper. Again, I love the cloth and stone chambray pieces and I'm probably gonna list this one around $50. Next romper is velvet. It's this great colorful floral print. It's long sleeves and the brand is Show Me Your Moo Moo. Probably gonna list this one around $65. It's got a cutout design on the back as well, so that's kind of fun. This printed dress is by Prana. So Prana is an athletic kind of yoga style line, but they do make all kinds of like athleisure styles. So this is a size medium. I love my built-in bra athletic style dresses. I'll probably list that at $35. And this is another athletic dress. It's by Athleta, size medium. It's just solid blue. It's got ruching at the bust. And then it also is racer back with ruching back there. Probably $35 on that one. This dress caught my eye when it was hanging. I loved the colors. I love the print. Um, it's kind of a patchwork floral and I really like this neckline. It's almost like a gathered halter tank and the brand is not something I normally pick up. I see it a lot. It's sold at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, a bunch of those places, just Taylor, but they do make really cute dresses. So I wanted to pick this one up because I like the style. I'll probably list it at $45. This dress is a great silk printed dress. It's oversized, very loose. It's got that handkerchief bottom, which is just like very asymmetrical looking and it is by HD in Paris which is from Anthropology. it's an extra small small I'll probably list this at maybe $65 that's a really great style next dress is an iCat printed tank top dress and it's just elasticized at the waist kind of a basic style it's by Sunday in Brooklyn from Anthropology. I'll probably list this one at $40 and then another army green splendid piece so I was on a roll finding splendid even though it's not my favorite I think they make classic pieces so it's um size medium it's a midi length dress so it goes to the mid calf and what I liked about this one is it looks almost like a two-in-one layer dress so it's got this um, layer underneath and then the layer on top which goes a little bit lower the back is scooped I'll probably list this at $50 
This next dress is a Hawaiian looking layered sundress and it is by Jams World which is a Hawaiian company. They are made in the USA and they just make great you know printed um, pieces. So this is a hibiscus floral print. I just thought that was fun. I'll probably list it at $45 or $50. This is actually a slip dress or like a nightgown, um, satiny kind of nightgown. It's by Natori, which is a good lingerie brand. It's a size extra large. I picked this up because I really like the bold colors in the print. I just thought that was really pretty for um, lingerie or sleepwear. I'll probably list that at $35. This next dress is Gypsy 05, which they make a lot of like tie-dye, bohemian style items. It's 100% silk. Um, it's great tie-dye. It also has a pocket on the side. It's just kind of an oversized casual dress. It's got the label on the back as well. I'll probably list that at $50. This is my favorite Show Me Your Moo Moo find that I had. It's Show Me Your Moo Moo Mellow. It's a size small. It says peanut butter on the front, so it's just an oversized t-shirt dress. And what was cute when I looked it up, this one says peanut butter. They had a matching one that said jelly, so like you and your best friend could wear peanut butter and jelly. I just thought that was so cute, but it looks like it's selling for quite a bit. I'll probably list it at $65 or $75 last short dress that I had is a Zara dress, which Zara does decent on Poshmark. I like this one because it's tunic style, um, so it's just like a really pretty mixed printed tunic dress pullover. Um, it's got almost like a drop waist down here at the bottom. I'm probably going to list it at $35. I did pick up, this is different for me, a bridesmaid's dress. So it's a really pretty dusty blue color and it's got um, that kind of like Bardot cap sleeve look, so it does have spaghetti straps but then this goes like off your shoulder um, it's bias cut so it's really flowy it's to the floor and the other reason I picked it up besides just the style being in is the brand so it's Ginny U collection which is sold at Anthropology's bridal um, store which is beholden or their website but also just a lot of high-end retailers so Ginny U collection bridesmaid dresses like this one I looked it up it retails for $250 so I know someone's gonna need that I'm honestly probably gonna list that around $100 I really liked it a lot first thing is a skirt and it's a really cool patchwork denim skirt it almost has this like upside down look and it's got floral and plaid patches and the brand is BDG which is from Urban Outfitters and it's also new with tags and it retailed for $69 so 70 bucks I'm gonna probably list this at $50 I believe it's really cute Next pair of shorts is just a blue and white printed. They're kind of like track style elastic waist and they are show me your moo moo size medium. Um, I'll probably list these at $35 or $40. A pair of show me your moo moo shorts. These are actually an extra large and this pair is a little different. They're more of like a flowy. It almost looks like a skirt, but it's a pair of shorts. I'll probably list these a little bit higher. These are a little nicer looking in my opinion. I'll probably list those at $50. And then I did find one pair of Adidas track pants that are just so cool. I've never seen anything like this. They're a blush like lavender color with all this blue and green forest kind of print. They have the logo embroidery. They have the three stripes and they're a size large. I'm probably going to list these at um, $65 or $70. Honestly, I need to look up the style and see what they go for, but I just really like those a lot. On to jeans. This first pair is by Pilcro, which is from Anthropology. They're a size 27, and they're just a dark denim straight leg, but they have this great embellishment at the bottom. It's kind of like a fabric patchwork cuff, so I'll probably list those at $50. This next pair, I haven't sold this brand in a while, but they are AG, Adriana Goldschmied, and they are the legging ankle jeans. So they're super skinny ankle and the reason I picked these up because they're super skinny but also I really like this distressed wash. They're a size 29 I believe so that's a good size. I'll probably list those at 50 to 60 dollars. This next pair is a J. Crew jean. They're the Lookout High Rise size 25 so it's just a high rise stretchy denim skinny jean. Those do pretty well. I'll probably list those at 45 dollars. And then this pair is by Madewell, one of my favorite jean lines to sell. They're just a high-rise skinny leg, but they have zippers on the ankles, so I thought those were unique. I'll probably list them at $60 to $65. The next pair is also Madewell, and it says on there the style, it's the Skinny Skinny Ankle High Riser. So they're a super high-rise jean, just skinny leg at the bottom. Again, probably $65 on those. 
Another pair of Madewell. I was on a roll at this one store with the Madewell jeans. These are pretty distressed. You can tell already by the top. And what I like about these is the bottom is super distressed as well. I just think that looks really cool. I'll probably list those at 65 to 75. That might be a more rare style with the distressing. This one, I've never found this brand before, Cezanne. Um, I believe it's a French line. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, but they are new with tags and they, I believe, retail for over $100. I'm going to list them probably at 75 or 85. I was looking up comps on them, but yeah, they're size 29. That's a really good brand apparently. And another pair of Madewell. This is just a distressed boyfriend style jean and I'll probably list those at 65. Most of my Madewell jeans I list around 65. They retail for like 138, so it's about half off of retail. And then the last pair of jeans, these are so cool. They are Artisan Deluxe for free people. So it's a collaboration, size 27. Look at all these great um, patches on them. They're bleached, they're skinny. They're just a really unique pair of jeans. I'll probably list those at $75. The last thing in my haul video are going to be shoes, and we'll start with this pair of mules first. So they are a floral embroidered mule, kind of a take on the Gucci with the horse bit logo, but they are Steve Madden, and I love the faux fur lining. Those just seem super cozy. I'm probably gonna list those around $50. I really like that style a lot. Next are these Vince slip-on shoes. So they are Vince. They are just some snakeskin sneakers. I actually have some bands that are like this, but the Vince sneakers do really well. I need to look up how much to list these for. I'm honestly not sure, and I do need to clean up the sides a little bit, and I'm gonna do a whole video on like shoe cleaning tips and stuff soon, so stay tuned for that. Okay, these are some suede booties, and they have like a harness detail around them, which I thought was fun. They are Sam Edelman's, and I'll probably list those around $65. And then the final pair of booties that I have are these brown leather with the buckle and they are by Jeffrey Campbell, which is one of my favorite shoe brands to sell when I find them. And I'll probably list these around $100 unless they're a more rare style. I definitely still need to look those up. There you have it, my biggest thrift haul in quite a while. Please thumbs up this video if you like hauls. Thumbs up this video if you made it through the entire thing. Props to you. Um, I definitely have a lot of amazing reselling, thrifting, lifestyle type of videos planned, so please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And then if you also wanna check out my Poshmark closet where this stuff is going to be listed, you can check that out in the description box down below. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.